I'm oh, thinking fight. as well that maybe your decisions affect things later on. So let's, for example, fighting yeah. styles. Uh, excuse the pun as well. Um, but maybe uh, Slytherin will be a bit more snaky when it comes to the fighting. Um, Gryffindors be a bit more aggressive. Maybe Ravenclaws be a bit more strategic. Mm. And Hufflepuffs just run away and call a beast to come in and fight the battles. <laughs> or throw yeah. a plant at them. You know, I, I'm thinking that'll be yeah. sort of like... Um, we saw in the Half-Blood Prince, for, for example, uh, Sectum Semper. I'm, I got that. I still got it in my head. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> in the bathroom where he, he hits uh, Malfoy with it and uh, he starts bleeding from every orifice in his body. Um, yeah. Maybe that's sort of like the Slytherin style of really darker sort of magic. Whereas Gryffindors will be much more aggressive in that front. They'll be firing spells off left, right and centre. And Ravenclaws mm. are just reading a book while flicking their wand to like stir their tea while they find <laughs> out a way, to, <laughs> a way to, to stop all this fighting. But yeah, I'm I'm excited to see how your decision uh, affects later on in the game. Yeah, and actually, um, like changes the world around you because that's supposed to be the whole idea in it that you affect yeah. the world around you by your actions. Yeah, you yeah. Uh, change the outcome and whatnot. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see if if there is uh, an end end, shall we say, or you know, unless it continues into something else. Um, be interesting to see if there's more than one ending. Or if there mm. are several endings, depending on choices, house, all sorts of stuff. Well, yeah. there's got to be more than one ending, since you could be light or dark. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I, mean, I think. Go on, go. On. I, I think I think the the storyline is going to be the same either way. I think you're you're going to go up against this mask uh, antagonist. Mm. Uh, you're going to defeat him, but um, well, if you're good enough. Um, maybe like a Mass Effect kind of style way that you need to have certain like uh, points and skills in this skill tree that you've got in order to actually defeat him. Uh, maybe you will have to call upon certain tames and things like that and build like an army against him. Could be like that. That would be pretty cool. Um, uh, they did it in Skyrim as well. So that, that's a good thing. Uh, you, you can choose a... a side of the war to be on etc etc yeah, build yeah, up an yeah. army um maybe that's that's a thing i think your decisions will affect different players and maybe that's how you do build up a certain thing or maybe it's just a 1v1 on rust <laughs> mate i'm gonna say i reckon <laughs> i reckon the, the the two ideas that i've sort of got in my head are the fact that it'd be a you know 1v1 like you say 1v1 mm. you know you're the chosen one harry voldemort style or it'll be like a Mass Effect 2 situation where if you get certain people on side and become friends with them, mm -hmm. they all join you. You know, like you're saying, like, as you get to, like, the end, if you will, depending on how, obviously, you know, it comes to its climax. If you've got a lot of, like, enemies trying to stand in your way, maybe the friends that you've made come with, they help out so it makes it easier, that kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Very much like That's... a Mass Effect 2 situation. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. where I'm going for, yeah. Yeah. Um, which I think would be good because you know when um, it's well the the ending anyway the, uh, the I've forgotten the name of the last book but the, the Deathly Hallows. Yeah. Um, the ending of that or towards the end the final fight scene where it's like just an all out war. Uh, McGonagall's um, I can't remember the incantation what she used but when she's um, she gets the knights to come down to protect the school. Shivers, mate shivers and i hope i hope that this game has an ending similar to that not the yeah. same but you you've got your teachers um you've got your sort of uh classic and very ancient uh magic that's surrounding hogwarts that puts its own defenses up and you know it's an all-out war that that would be fantastic that, fingers that crossed there's some wielding to be had you know not mm. just detecting you know, we're talking, let's be having that ancient magic in yeah. the arsenal, you know. They'll just whip out Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just literally whip out Fluffy's, be like, you're going to learn today. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. open the door. It's what are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the taming side of things, though, going back to that, I, that'd be so cool if you could tame Fluffy. Or like yeah. the creature, the, the, the Cerberus. Cerberus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cerberus, yeah. yeah. It'd be wow. so cool if you could tame a Cerberus because there's dragons in it and all. Like, there's, yeah. we're going to be having dragons. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think it I think it really will depend to be fair. I want to I want to know more about the different animals that exist and sort of, you know what I mean? And depending on how many you can or if it's a very specific, you know, it's only like these six or whatever. Um, or if it's you can pretty much tame anything if you've got the ability, you know, D and D style roll, you know, can you can yeah. you tame this this mountain? Well, Would that's what I kind of mean for for the actual um, classes. Well, not classes, houses. Yeah. Um, like maybe there are certain creatures that only a certain house can can tame. Um, like I said, the the grapple. Uh, yeah, so like far, loyal to certain houses. Yeah, it looks like yeah. it's a Hufflepuff thing. But we've got trolls in this. We've seen it. Um, yeah. There's a troll in the dungeon. Cue yeah. uh, Professor Quirrell. 